Are you going to uh, defend Land of the Lost? I have not seen it. I okay, see it. good. Did you see it? Fuck no. It was the worst TV show. Like, this whole... In terms of, like, my intelligence being insulted, like, or attacked, uh, you can make one of, you know, look, make one of the crappier shows of my childhood into a movie and maybe I'll watch it, but don't make the worst show. As a matter of fact, it's actually the second worst show ever created for Saturday morning. The worst show ever created is one called the Sigmund and the Sea yeah. Monster. There was also Croft. And, there was and, also Sid and Marty Croft. Yeah, and that's in development now. Yeah, they're trying to make it. And that. I, I got to say this. Uh, I've done this jag on my podcast, but uh, never yours. Um, we were, when I was doing my pilot for CBS nine months ago, we were walking along the lot over there at CBS Radford, and some guy we we're walking with, uh, Alan Kirschenbaum, said, whose who's dad is, um, oh, shit. Uh, Joey, uh, fuck. Kirschenbaum? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Not what makes sense. Uh, no, a famous, like, Catskills comedian. I'll, I'll think of his name for a second. Anyway, he said, um, he said, you know who's in there? He said, you know who's in that office? I said, who? He said, uh, Marty Croft is in there. I said, he is? And he said, yes, yeah, in Marty Croft. Marty Croft comes to work every day. That's still, on, the, that's on, I know that lot. Still has an office here. Still hard at work every day. The guy's like 89 years old. He's still here. He said, I could introduce you to him. If, would you like me to, in, Freddie Roman was this, this oh, guy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I said, okay. I can introduce you to him. Would you like me to introduce you to him? And I said, no. And he said, why not? The guy's a legend. And I said, he's a fucking legendary hack. And he <laughs> said, what do you mean hack? I said, I saw all his work when I was a kid. Sigmund and the Sea Monster and Land of Lost, those are for fucking fried cat abortions. And those were just a couple. On, there was also, like a hot, there was also white, puffin, hot puffin stuff and Lidsville. And, and like far out space, far out space, nuts, space, space And nuts. just all that stuff stuck. And by the way, it was like, yeah, but he's still on the lot. I said, he's warming over shit from the 70s. Like, it probably I, made you mad that he's still working. I, yes. Yeah. Somebody should have taken him out years ago. Number one. Number two, I guarantee. Here's the thing. Here's how you know the guy's a fucking full blown hack. And these guys are full blown hacks. What have you done for he was me on lately? Comics Unleashed. Yes. <laughs> now, beside that, here's the deal. Here's what you're working on. Here's what that fucking old hack's working on. He's working on the release of or the rights to Sigmund the Sea Monster, the feature, Land of the Lost, the feature. You don't have any new ideas, old man, because you couldn't compete in today's environment you just have a bunch of your old shitty ideas that you're going to try to repurpose they sucked in 1971 they're fucking horrible today i don't know what the fuck will ferrell was doing thinking i'm gonna take the shittiest i don't even know what to call that it was a wasn't a sitcom wasn't a cartoon yeah. shitcom of adam carolla's childhood and turn it into a horrible 90 bring minute name into piece it. of shit by the way shit i am so I, 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 I for one am glad that we are we are bringing that gentleman who is sitting in death's waiting room right now down a peg <laughs> well, fuck him. Listening. no listen those guys are multi-millionaires and they've done nothing but crank out shit I mean, think about it. But and we turned them into fucking icons. But there were there was that there was that period of time in the late sixties and early seventies where a lot of art got really bad. Like there was a whole yes. you know, like like Hanna Barbera is so they did a lot responsible of for a lot of crappy yeah. TV, Horrible. cheap, Hair inexpensive, bear bunch and all yeah, that stuff. All, all that it's stuff. All junk, and they should be punished too. And they're all fucking multimillionaires. So fuck them. Listen, I wasn't born yet, so yeah, dude. I don't know. Actually, <laughs> I'm an expert. I'm an expert on Hanna Barbera cartoons. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, well, I've, uh, I've watched hundreds of hours with my father, who I think might still be alive. My <laughs> father enough. and I used to watch Grape Ape. <laughs> he was a Grape large ape. ape that repeated the phrase <laughs> Grape <laughs> Ape. He was a close cousin to Megilla Gorilla. Oh, yeah. Who just had a name that sound? It was more about alliteration, right? <laughs> Magilla Gorilla and Grape. To be fair, Magilla like, Gorilla wore suspenders, shorts, and a hat. So yeah, it was, it was good stuff. And then when they couldn't come up with anything, they would just and they never could. They would just rip off stuff like Jabba Jaw was Curly from oh, the three. Ooh, yeah, Jabba yeah, Jabba yeah. Jabba. Well, not only that, but every they 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 had the Shaggy character in every one of those cartoons. They All used the, the same yeah. character. They, sheet. they ripped off every one of the every one of, everything that came in the thirties and forties in vaudeville. And then they ripped. They spent the rest of their life ripping themselves off. <laughs> and that's all they know how to do. And then they with made the wacky races where they put them all in races. They're horrible, 
hacks, everybody. They're fucking horrible. And if you had Sid or Marty Croft sit down and write you a spec script for <laughs> Everyone Loves Raymond today, you'd wipe your ass with it and go, is this guy fucking insane? This is some of the horrible, most small things. I would love, here's my challenge to those old fucking hacks. Sit, sit down and write me a spec script right now, old man. Go ahead. You're so funny. You're a genius. You're an icon. Write me a modern sitcom. Go ahead. Just, oh, you know oh, what? Pick oh, two and a half men. Right, write a script. It's a two and a half men are lost with the sea monsters. Oh. All right. right. So right. everybody That's loves Raymond, oh, but the yeah. character of Doris Roberts is played by a talking bush. Right. Yeah, the, right. That's it. Yeah. A witchy poo guest stars in, <laughs> in the parenthood. It's almost like, it's, it's like, it's almost like a, like a writing seminar, like, Hey man, all you gotta do is just look around your room for the characters. So that character right there is Mr. Curtains, because right. there's curtains yeah. hanging there, and over right. there's over there's Johnny Floorland. Right. And he's a yeah. doggy Floorland. Yeah, be careful with that though, because Pee Wee uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse did that to you know. They did, it, they did it well though. They did yeah, it they well. Did it well. They did Listen, it well. I'm just saying these guys are, are rich beyond our wildest dreams. Do we have to make them icons? Can't we just make them rich? Do we have to <laughs> worship at their altar or go? You fucks came along at the right time. You struck while the iron was hot. You repeated yourself while everyone was high. You ripped off a whole bunch of comedians from the 40s and the 50s. We were all too young or too stupid, and there was no cable to compete with you guys. You essentially got a monopoly on Saturday morning. You lucked out. Now take your fucking money and get the fuck out of here. You just want his office. I think this I is want what your this office. Is, yeah. That's all you want. This Tuesday, office. vote yes on Proposition K to revoke Sid and Marty <laughs> all Croft's you, All you haters fortune. out there, you pull me the one uh, Sid and Marty Croft project in the last 20 years. Something new, something that's not... Don't forget about Electro Woman and Dynago. Shit. Yeah. Two, you, two, two whores driving some, around in a transparent a clam. One new idea those guys have come up with in 20 years, and I will gladly apologize. You know, it's Who like, put it's all like, this poop in my underwear? That's perfect for Sid and Marty Crowley's right, sports yeah. drink. That's right. Uh, and you're, a you're, character. You're forgetting completely, too, that they remade Land of the Lost TV show for Saturday morning back when we were kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was uh, even worse. It wow. was like Saved by the Bell meets uh, Land of the Lost. <laughs> meets a turd. Uh, yeah, I mean, right. Yeah. So here's my point. <laughs> it's a turd. Lock turd. yourself in your office, work on warming over one of your turds from the 70s and repurposing it today. But don't expect me and Alan Kirschenbaum to come up and, and bow at your altar, you old <laughs> hack. 